2.1a, prime and composite. Prime numbers are divisible by one and itself. Some examples of prime numbers are numbers such as two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. This list continues on indefinitely. All of these numbers can only be divided by one and themselves. Composite numbers are divisible by prime numbers evenly, meaning there is no remainder when you divide them. Some examples of composite numbers could be the number four. Four is divisible by one, two, and four. As you can see, it is divisible by two prime, or a prime number and a composite number. Another example of a composite number is sixteen. Sixteen is divisible by one, two, four, eight, and sixteen. As you can see, it is divisible by more numbers than one and itself. It is also divisible by two, four, and eight. Let's look at an example. In example one, it asks if eighty-nine is prime or composite. Sometimes the numbers are larger than the list that we tend to have memorized, which is the two through nineteen. Then it is sometimes helpful to remember from your times tables the squares. Squares are the numbers such as one times one, two times two, or three times three. It's the number times itself. We look for the number that would be directly below and directly above the number in question. We know that nine times nine is eighty-one. This would be the number directly below eighty-nine. We also know ten times ten equals one hundred. This would be the number directly above eighty-nine. We now know that we must look at all of the prime numbers that are less than ten. We start dividing in each of these prime numbers to eighty-nine to see if any are d can divide in evenly. Let's start with the first prime number, which is two. Two goes into eight four times, and two goes into nine four times. This leaves a remainder of one, which means two is not a possibility. We'll try the next prime number which is three. Three goes into eight two times, and three goes into twenty-nine nine times. We once again have a remainder, therefore three does not evenly divide into eighty-nine. Our next prime number is five. Five goes into eight once, and five goes into thirty-nine seven times. We still have a remainder, therefore five does not evenly divide into eighty-nine. The next prime number is seven. Seven goes into eight one time, and seven goes into nineteen two times. We still have a remainder, therefore seven does not evenly divide into eighty-nine. The next prime number is eleven. But remember, we had to pick a number that was less than ten. Therefore, there are no numbers that evenly divide into eighty-nine besides one and eighty-nine. This means that eighty-nine is a prime number, as it is only divisible by one in itself. Let's look at example two. Example two asks if one hundred forty-seven is prime or composite. Remember, we must find the squares above and below one forty-seven. If we remember that twelve times twelve 
equals 144, and 13 times 13 equals 169. This means our number must be less than 13, as 147 falls between these two. Let's start looking at prime numbers that are less than 13. Let's start with 2. 2 goes into 147. We start by seeing how many times 2 goes into 14, which is 7. And 2 goes into 7 three times. We have a remainder, which means that 2 does not evenly divide into 147. Let's try the next prime number, which is 3. 3 goes into 14 four times. And 3 goes into 27 nine times. As you can see, the remainder is 0, meaning that 3 divides evenly into 147. Since it does have a value other than 1 and itself, this means that 147 is a composite number. To sum up, a prime number is a number that's divisible by 1 and itself, and a composite number is only divisible by other numbers evenly, such as prime or composite numbers. Remember, it is easiest if you know your times tables and to find the squares that are directly above and below the number in question. You then try all prime numbers that are less than that number. If one divides in evenly, meaning it has no remainder, that means that it is a composite number.